Now, the countdown has begun for the second launch of India's game changer, Agni 5 missile. The launch is expected, in fact, any time now. It's India's most potent nuclear-capable intercontinental ballistic missile. The first launch of the Agni 5 took place on the 19th of April 2012 when, it, when India joined the select club of America, Russia, France, UK and China who have such capabilities. And that, of course, was a phenomenal success. The launch uh, is uh, going to validate the reliability of this complex missile. And uh, it is a complex missile. Let's take a look at its statistics. It weighs about 50 tons. It's 17 and a half uh, meter high. And it's got uh, the state-of-the-art facilities powered by three engines. The missile can carry a single nuclear warhead or of over 1,000 kgs. And it can strike with precision all targets all the way up to China, deep inside China, in fact, and also all the way up to Europe. A fire and forget system that can even destroy enemy satellites and push comes to shove can even be configured to launch small satellites. It gives India the much needed second strike capability in case a nuclear, war we nuclear weapon is used against India. This test is a very vital and very important test for DRDO and for the Agni 5 series. Within the next few months, we are going to have the canisterized launch of this missile, which will give the true mobility, and with that, we will be ready for weaponization of the system. That is where the A5 will be a new weapon system inducted into the arm, Indian armor. Uh, we have now come to a stage of uh, proving this uh, class of uh, Agni systems and now we want to go for a canisterized version of this Agni 5. So a canister launch we are expecting. So with that uh, it proves the system's uh, overall capability as a deterrent.